Recently, Bengaluru, Guwahati, and Gurugram witnessed intense and unprecedented urban flooding this year, aggravated by climate change. Guwahati witnessed unprecedented rainfall, followed by urban flooding in the month of May, June this year. Bengaluru experienced torrential rains in August and September with severe floods. Delhi NCR witnessed intense rainfall, bringing the Millennium City, Gurugram. to its knees people got trapped in their homes as water levels rose dramatically flooding the entire basement and even ground floors of the apartment buildings the main cause of open flooding is a poor drainage system that is inefficient and unable to carry the storm water generated from rainfall haphazards and indiscriminate urban sprawling and unplanned infrastructure development are responsible for drainage failures besides the inefficiency of engineers and the management system on top of that climate changes like extreme rainfall have made matters worse in most indian cities the natural drainage systems have been destroyed due to unwise urban development earlier natural waterways worked efficiently by carrying the surface runoff generated from rainfall to various things like rivers low lying swamps and other types of wetlands natural drainage once geopardized is usually difficult to compensate fully through engineered drainage structures the present style of urban planning in india rarely takes into account climate changes and risks according to a controller and auditor general cag report on bangalore situation some drains had been covered some drains had been covered and encroached on and in some cases illegal constructions have even been allowed on them an indian express report clearly highlights how clogged drains and human encroachment combined with rainfall brought guwahati on its knees in gurugram rapid urbanization and concentration led to blocking of natural drains depleting groundwater levels the way forward is reformed urban planning that takes into account climate changes and risks water bodies need to be restored to original capacities wherever possible ensuring protection in the future there is a need to study local climate trends and monitor changing rainfall patterns